Hi, it's Eitan. I'm here in Pasadena to introduce you to the majestic Gartz Court. Now this is an example of a bungalow court, which was a style of multifamily housing that was all over Pasadena between 1910 and 1930. They sprung up in the hundreds during that time period. And just like all of them, Gartz Court features detached units that are all aligned around a central walkway or courtyard. But there are a few reasons why Gartz Court stands tall among all of the bungalow courts. Reason number one, it was the second earliest bungalow court in Pasadena. Gartz Court is the oldest one that is still laid out the same way that it was when it was built back in 1910. Reason number two why Gartz Court stands out amongst all of its peers is its architectural pedigree. Now, while we're not 100% sure, most scholars say that it was designed by Myron Hunt and Elmer Gray. And this is one of the preeminent architectural firms in Los Angeles in the early 1900s. Either collectively as a firm or separately, they did the Mount Wilson Observatory, the Pasadena Central Library, Throop Institute, which became Caltech. Myron Hunt did the Rose Bowl right in the Arroyo Seco over there. So these were serious architects. And you can see the craftsmanship and the quality that they poured into it in the way that they seamlessly integrate craftsman ideals and English Tudor styles. On the craftsman side of things, you see shingles, you see these foundations made out of river rock, the chimneys up there made of beautiful stone masonry. And on the English Tudor side, you have this cool half timber detailing that looks kind of like an English countryside vibe. On the insides, there are exposed beams and hardwood floors and brick fireplaces, all kinds of wood built-ins. There's even one resident who stripped all the paint back from the door and window frames so you can see what the original wood grain looked like. Reason number three why Gars Court stands apart is its preservation history. So where we're standing is not the original location of Guards Court. Originally it was on Madison Avenue, just south of where the 210 is right now. But in 1982, its neighbor, Montgomery Engineering, decided, you know what, we want to expand our offices, we're going to buy Guards Court, demolish it, and turn it into a secondary office. So they tried to evict all the tenants, and uh, because the area was zoned for residential use, they had to apply for a variance with the city of Pasadena to let them build office space. The city of Pasadena wasn't into it, and neither was Pasadena Heritage, which is a uh, terrific preservation organization that had just started up. So they were able to work out a plan with Montgomery Engineering to give them the variance that they were seeking as long as Montgomery agreed to let Gartz Court move somewhere else. There's a lot of work that had to be done convincing the uh, neighbors-to-be that this wouldn't be disruptive, that the court would fit right in with the rest of the neighborhood. In 1984, all of the Gartz Court units were moved over on large trucks and installed on their new foundations here. Within about six months, the whole thing had been restored. They hired Stephanos Polyzoidis, who was sort of the, the man when it comes to courtyard architecture and architecture history in Los Angeles. Polyzoidis oversaw the whole project and even designed some new two-car garages to go in the back because the original Guards Court didn't have any space for cars. It was 1910. Vehicles were still uh, coming into their own at that time. As a result of all that preservation work, the Guards Court project won an award from the LA Conservancy in 1985, and another one for outstanding merit from the California Preservation Foundation. I spoke with a bunch of the residents at Guards Court, several of whom have been here for decades. One even moved in in 1985, right after it was relocated. People tend to stay here for a while. I mean, can you blame them? Thanks for doing LA with me.